Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and wowza, it's been a minute since I have recorded a video, but I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm ready to dive back into my weekly uploads. I basically <laughs> lost track of, you know, uploading since I came back from my trip to Japan. Speaking of, I still need to upload that vlog. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of footage I need to go through and I've just been very lazy. Is my camera dirty? Or my eyes just fuzzy? I can't tell. We're gonna hope it's just my eyeballs. <laughs> so today I'm gonna kick off this week with a review. Um, I have. I hope you guys like this new setup. My new chair. Well, this was David's gaming chair, but I'm also now making it my video chair. <laughs> um, so why don't we just get started with this review. I'm reviewing the Madewell. Honestly, I don't know what this bag is. I don't know what this bag is called, but I will find it and I will put it right here. Okay? Um, this bag I actually switched with my mom for my other Madewell bucket bag. I don't know if I've shared it on YouTube before, but I've definitely shared it on Instagram in the past. Um, but she wanted a crossbody, so I was like, okay, I'll trade you my Madewell bag for your Madewell bag. And now I get to do a review on it because I've been using this for about two months now. And it's my daily bag. My iPad's in it, all my shit's in it. So let's start off with what I can fit in here. First of all, you can fit an iPad. See, you can't even see it. You can only see it when it's like slouching down. Um, this is the iPad, I think this is a 13 inch. It's huge. Um, so you can fit your laptop in there too. And I have my little, my life pouch with all emergency things in it. And that's pretty much it. And then I have like a bunch of paper, a battery pack just in case. There's a giant pocket up front here, which is amazing. I have right now, I just have um, files because I had to go to DMV a few weeks ago and I haven't taken it out of my bag yet. And there's one small pocket here. So let's start off with the style of the bag. I love how clean and sleek this is. If you know Madewell, you know all their bags are pretty much like this. They have minimal like stitching, minimal like pockets, not too many crazy designs, very simple. Just They just let the leather speak for itself basically. And of course it's Madewell. <laughs> it's, it's, it really is honestly. You can see all the stitching details that they have. They, the way that it's crafted, it's really made for daily wear, you know, your go-to girl that needs a crossbody but can be a handbag at the same time, that kind of situation. It's not a giant bag either. It's not one of those bags that you'll just fill up with nonsense. <laughs> you know, those totes that would just go on forever. Everyone's got a Mary Poppins bag. This one is not it. This one is really for trying to keep your crap at a minimum because it does fit a lot of stuff but at the same time it's a decent enough size to where you're not going to overfill. I think I said that about the mat and nap bag that I that I bought and I reviewed on. I think that's kind of my goal these days on purses to where I don't want to overfill it otherwise it's just too heavy and I never want to carry it around. So I actually don't put much in this bag in the first place and so it makes it a lot easier for me to carry around. This bag is also very comfortable to wear. The double strap is really nice. Like if you are like, I'm ready to go, I got somewhere to be. You got this like really close to your body, no one's gonna get into it, you got that option. Or you can have like a really casual, I'm gonna just throw this purse over my shoulder, you know, casual weekend, gotta have some stuff in my bag because I'm gonna be out all day. That kind of situation is perfect for either of those things and I do use it for both of those things. And it's nice that I can still add a bunch of stuff in here if I need to, my water bottle will fit in here perfectly. So that's plus. And the strap, like I like how it's not, like the hardware isn't in your face, like really tacky hardware, you know what I'm saying? Well, Madewell is just knows their design so well that that's just, I feel like all their bags are like that across the board and their hardware is very minimal. And seriously, Bendy? And that makes for a very simple look, which is if you're going to Madewell, if you're shopping there, you're a very simple person 
in general. They have really good basics and this is one of them. This comes in multiple different shades of neutral. <laughs> I think they have three other shades if I remember that correctly. I will link it down below as well if you're interested in the bag. Um, the strap though, I have to say, if it wasn't like a tiny bit wider, it'd be much more comfortable. That is also why my mom insisted on switching purses with me because the black one was just a lot more comfortable to wear as a crossbody. This one, not so much. Actually, honestly, it is much more comfortable just to hang it on your shoulder um, because the, the strap is so thin. And um, this bag isn't meant to be a bag that you fill up to the top anyway, so I don't think they were worried about having a really wide strap. So if you're looking for a bag that you want to put a lot of shit in, this is not it. Don't get this bag. Um, but if you're trying to not fill up your bag too much, this is perfect. It's the perfect size. The downside to this though is that it doesn't have lining inside. But, I mean, that's kind of all made wall bags. My black one, too, had no lining in it. And I think that's just their style. Like, that's just how they make all their purses. Although, I think if you have, like, a, such a smooth, buttery leather bag like this one, you want to protect it as much as you can. So having a lining would be very nice for this type of leather. I mean, you're spending decent amount of money on this you want your leather to be protecting you don't want it like if like god forbid your freaking makeup explodes in there your leather is screwed it's stained for life so that's kind of the downside to that so you have to be really cautious and careful what you put in there but it, if they did have a lining it would increase the price to a point where i probably wouldn't even consider like recommending this bag to anyone i find that a lot of bags with lining especially real leather bags with lining is a lot more expensive so i guess it's kind of a good thing that there's no lining in here because it's helpful in the production costs of this bag therefore less expenses for the consumer but <laughs> it just is a little more stressful for the consumer as well because i'm always like what's in my bag is there anything that can spill is there anything i shouldn't be in here Am I putting myself in a dangerous situation? In terms of whether this bag is worth it or not, I think this bag is $175. Let me check. Let me check the receipt. Just to clarify, I didn't buy this. I traded with my mother because um, I had a different made wool bag that she wanted. Oh, okay, I found it. So this bag is $158. Wow, I thought it was like almost $200. Well, I guess it is kind of almost $200, but I was thinking more like $195. So $158 for this bag, honestly, that's pretty decent for a large leather bag like this. Um, is that a necessary helicopter? I know my camera's gonna pick that up. <sighs> the perks of living in the city. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even in the city city, I just hear all the sounds, thanks to the city. <laughs> anyway. I'm getting distracted. So yeah, 158 for this bag. Is it worth it? It's a real leather bag. It's very well made. You can tell by the stitching that this is durable. I think 158 is definitely worth it for a leather purse that you could wear like every day and use every day for probably about three to five years and it would still be in great condition. Now that I think about it, when I compare prices like this to like a Target purse, that is probably very similar but made with fake leather and will last you no more than two seasons that costs probably around $60 is mind-blowing to me <laughs> because you're paying almost $100 for something that won't even last you a whole year this will probably last up to five so basically that is my review on this bag there are some pros and cons but it really depends on what you're looking for Again, I personally use this as my everyday work bag. I do also taking it out, like taking it out. I do also take it out on the weekends um, if I'm not going to be home all day and I need to carry some stuff around with me. It's perfect for that. And if you are concerned, it will fit your hydro flask and then some. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the vlog that is coming up this week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!